Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited for you to be here today because I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite mobile apps on my iPhone, and that's the ManyChat app. So whether you're using an Android or an iPhone, it's important that you download that app to your phone so that you get your leads immediately, not only with notifications that the chatbot's going to send you via text message or email, but also you have all those leads in the palm of your hands so you could immediately respond to them and get those deals. You see, it's all about speed to lead. Hello, I'm Smarty and welcome to the ProEdge channel. I'm here to provide actionable insights with technology and tips to make this the best decade ever. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that bell because I'm going to be releasing these videos each week for you. And as always, I have your back. So if you have any comments, I'm curious to know who's using the ManyChat app right now and how many of you are on Android and I, uh, the iPhones out there so I could best support you. Let me open up my across my shoulder here and show you my iPhone. So what you're seeing here is my iPhone right here. Uh, I do have my digital business card on my lock screen and I have another video that I'll be sharing on that. Um, I can open up and uh, get to the ManyChat app very quickly. So if you don't, uh, not sure what it looks like, it's the icon on the bottom left uh, from the second row, I click on ManyChat. Now for this presentation, I'm using my iPhone. Um, I understand that the Android has many of the same features. It may look a little bit different. I'm not an Android user, but go ahead and check it out and you'll find a lot of these tips. What you see in the uh, mobile app here is on the very bottom, you're seeing the first tab you're seeing is the live agent or the live chat. Uh, as a reminder, uh, what you want to do with live chat is stay inside the seven day window or else Facebook will put you in jail. So from the very first time they come into the bot, the bot can talk for 24 hours, but you as a live human agent can interact with that person in a seven day window. They do give you the uh, little window on the left that will show you when they last came in. So let's say that this person, uh, Crystal, is outside the seven days. I can hit the done at the very top of the right of the uh, screen and that will remove her from the uh, live chat agent. Um, the next tab I want to show you is contacts and I'm going to show you a lot of the features as I go through here. And then the final tab on the bottom is education. So I recommend you take a look at some of these articles. Uh, if you're new to chatbot marketing, ManyChat has some great blogs and articles that you can read. Uh, that will really be uh, advantageous for you to understand the best way to do marketing as a realtor and investor. On the contacts tab, you can search for contacts up top. So I can look for smart here and uh, it lists all the smarts and I'll pull up my record here as a, uh, for the channel. Now the way this works is all the people in your chatbot are going to be on the contacts part of the application. So I could pull up anybody, let's say a buyer, seller, uh, reached out to me and before I make a return phone call to them, I want to know, you know, what they told the chatbot, how many beds they're looking for, what their budget was, so I could be more effective when I talk to them and try to be more nurturing to get that deal. Um, what you see here on the app is three uh, icons here, three little uh, uh, channels. Uh, you see a, a channel for Messenger, which is the top one that has that ugly number. You see that the person also gave a phone number and an email. Um, if I click in on the messenger, I have the ability to see all the conversations I've ever had with this individual. So I can see everything that they've done here with me so I can see how they interacted with the chatbot and also see some of their questions, which I'll show you an e easier way to get that as well. There's also an SMS tab here. So if I've been texting the person, um, I can see all the text messages that went out to this individual and if they responded to you. If I want to go into a live chat, there's a reopen. And when I hit reopen, now John Smart will be over here on the uh, live chat screen. And there I am right up top here at the very top. Um, I also wanted to point out on the contacts tab that you could create what's called segments or filters inside your mini chat application. I'll have another video where I go into more detail on that, importing contacts, segmenting your, your leads and stuff. But any segment you have set up in your ManyChat app, you can, you'll see them right here in the mobile app. So for example, I do Ideal Estate. These are all the agents I met on the Ideal Estate uh, platform. I may have uh, all my chatbot leads. 
people that I'm interacting to. I can quickly uh, click on that and quickly get to that list of people in my chatbot. So I could segment buyers, sellers, renters, and so forth as leads. Let me go over to the live chat and talk about what we can do here. So if I'm talking to Garrett here, and I know, or, or Garnett, uh, Garnett is interested in my rent to own program. So if I come over here, I can see that they've given me phone numbers and emails, and I have all the details. Uh, in this case, I'm showing them a gallery of houses here on the chat bot. I can go down below and I can say something to him on channel. I'm inside the seven days. So I can say, hi, uh, Garnett, I uh, saw you're interested in my program. Um, would you like more details? So I can start a conversation directly. You also see there's a couple other icons. There's a, a tab for me to send them photos. So if I have a photo of a house I want to share with him, I can click on it, uh, go to my, ca my uh, camera roll and select a home to send over to that uh, buyer or renter. You also have over here um, snippets that you can do, and that's another thing you can do inside of ManyChat. I'll have another video on snippets. You could have pre-built responses that you just grab a snippet and send it over to them. So uh, stay tuned for that on the channel. I'll actually do probably that next week on the channel, how to create snippets for the mobile app. You'll want to come back and see that when I, when I have that uploaded. Um, there's uh, three dots on the far right. When I click on the three dots before I talk to uh, Garnett here, I can see what tags uh, this individual has and I can tag them along the way. I can also hit the three dots and see what fields they filled out. So uh, all the fields that they were entering in uh, that they may wanna see. So if I look at, for example, my record, um, I'll go in and uh, take a look at all my fields. I've told the bot quite a bit. So down in here, I told them I'm looking for two bedrooms. Uh, um, I do fix and flips. Uh, my, my mortgage uh, remaining on my current house mortgage is 15 uh, years. So you can see all the fields that the bot collected in interacting to me. Now let's say I want to send them something. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, or actually before I do that, if I hit the three dots, there's another uh, capability I want to show here on the mobile app. One is I can assign the lead to an individual on my team. So if I want to give this lead to my wife, Sharon, I click on that and assign the lead to her. Um, I can unsubscribe them. So maybe they were talking as I'm chatting back and forth, they said, please stop. I can unsubscribe them right here on the mobile app so I don't get myself in trouble. So that's also an option. And finally, there's also what's called a pause automation. So as a best practice, anytime you as an individual are messaging somebody back and forth, you wanna quiet the bot down so it doesn't interrupt you. So by quieting it down, I can say, all right, let's uh, put a, a timer on there so it pauses it for one hour. So uh, you have different options. You could pause for an hour, 30 minutes, a full day. Go ahead and pause it if you're gonna be going back and forth with this individual. And finally, there's the three, uh, it looks like a little flow chart. I have the ability to send a flow to this individual um, so that they get the, have the bot start talking and delivering something to them. So for this individual, I may want to send them my business card. So I'll come down on the list and I'll find the business card flow that's in my ProEdge chatbot bot package and I'll go ahead and hit send. So now what the chatbot's doing is it's now going to go through and send them um, right on Messenger and I can pop over to my Messenger. You see it's talking to myself because I picked myself, but it's actually going through and delivering that business card right to the individual right through the Messenger app. So that is, uh, in summary, what you can do on this mo very powerful ManyChat mobile app that's available both for Android and iOS, which I have here as my iPhone. If you have any questions, please always reach out to me. I'm here for you. And if you're interested in more details about my program, there's a link below. You can find out about the ProEdge chatbot. Have a nice day.